Chu Chen travels through the world of tomb raiding, obtains the tomb raiding system, and touches the secret treasures of the underworld to receive rewards. Yellow River Ancestral Source Jin Tang Tomb, Yurengu General Tomb, Jingjue Ancient City, Longling Ghost Tomb, Xianwang Tomb, Nanhai Guishu Tomb, Dixian Village. However, Chu Chen discovered that this world is a complex tomb world composed of multiple tombs. Here. Not only are there the four sects of hair mounds touching gold, moving mountains, and unloading mountains in the ghost blowing lamp, but also the three rivers and water cannibals who steal treasures underwater. Mining tombs, Guazi Temple Seven Star Palace, Changbai Mountain, Banai Yao Village Ancient Building Ruins. With continuous tomb raids, Chu Chen became entangled with the Wang family in the early Ming dynasty and the ancient Zhang family among them, there were four descendants of the Guanshan Taibao, the Sui Fu Wang, the Jiuyo General, and the Yin Yang Duan Gong who competed to enter and compete for the fate of the tomb. The ultimate romance of tomb raiders is longevity. Therefore, countless strange people and scholars, such as those with mysterious tattoos, back corpses, credit knives, and sewn corpses, rushed in and together pursued the path of immortality. Collect ancient treasures from the tomb, gather the dragon veins from all directions, and become eternal guests. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 001 Palm Eye Opportunity Activating the Thief Comprehensive Scroll. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In 1981, Yen Jing. Pan Jiayuan. At the end of November, the imperial capital gradually withered with autumn and entered a cold winter. The morning light mixed with flying dust, mottled and charming. The jingling bicycles raced on the open streets, while the vendors pushed their carts and pulled their goods to Pan Jiayuan to prepare for early morning stalls. The cart is filled with small items such as bowls, jars, old coins, snuff bottles, and old pocket watches, all of which are from the top three schools of thought who arrived early to sell in the antique market. Looking around, apart from the bright red national flag, there are few bright colors. At this moment, a loud noise came from the middle stall on the left side of Pan Jiayuan. Garbage. They are all fake goods. Is that how Pan Jiayuan does business? Ah. In the Aurora Pavilion, a middle-aged curly-haired man dressed in western-style denim pointed to the goods on the shelf and loudly said, Boss, are you not afraid of God's punishment for doing business like this? He has a strong accent, a face full of anger, and his deep blue eyes reveal endless ridicule. Upon hearing these words, the shop owner Chu Chen sat still and glanced at him, calmly drinking tea without paying attention. However, this furry foreigner kicked his nose on his face, shouting more and more fiercely. He shouted that the Aurora Pavilion was a black shop, to the point where more and more passers-by and vendors gathered outside, casting curious glances at him. So, did you buy my goods? Seeing more and more people gathered around him, Chu Chen slowly spoke up and said, Sorry, I don't know any god. I only worship Guan Xingdi here, buying and selling antiques. If you understand, you can buy them. If you don't, don't be fooled. You have a big throat, so you're right. Isn't it your first time visiting my store? If I remember correctly, you came to visit once the day before yesterday. Why, did you deliberately step on the autumn breeze? You. The foreigner's face changed for a moment, but he still shouted fiercely and inwardly, although I didn't buy it, I can't see you being a scammer like an unscrupulous businessman. I haven't bought anything, can you call a fake hammer? No fun. Chu Chen shook his head and continued to serve a cup of tea without any intention of further conversation. We are not responsible for the purchase or sale of cultural relics, delivery, and delivery. Hey! I said, Boss Chu, are you being targeted, right? At this moment, a young man with a long robe and oily head squeezed into the crowd. He was holding an origami fan and flapping it while opening his mouth, saying, What's wrong? 
this foreigner friend came to our Panjiayuan to prepare for anti-dot counterfeiting. That's quite new. Do you have any grievances? Why don't you speak up and make the big guy's eyes open? From afar, customers come all the way. If you buy anything that doesn't satisfy you, please speak up. My Jean Wantong palm and eye skills are also among the best, and I will definitely show you his ugly figure on sight. Besides, everyone is watching around these days, and the market grandfather of Pan Jia Yuan is not far away. You have really been maliciously deceived, and I can also give you justice when the time comes. I can't guarantee the punishment of closing the store, but it can also help everyone prevent a black shop, right? Speaking of which, Jin Wantong suddenly changed his tone and said, but if you're here to cause trouble, then you're sorry. Pan Jiayuan doesn't welcome troublemakers from foreign countries. So, are you leaving on your own? Or should I ask you to leave? The foreigner's face changed for a moment when he saw these words, and finally let out a cold snort, leaving without saying a word. Upon seeing this, all the good people who had surrounded the entrance dispersed. The hustle and bustle dissipated in an instant. Chu Chen looked at Jin Wantong and said, De Jinya, Thank you for speaking up. However, why do you have time to come to my small stall? I don't have any treasures to scan for you in my shop. Hi, look at what you're saying, Master Chu, isn't it a split? The genius sat down proficiently, picked up a teapot and poured a glass of water. He looked up and drank it all, saying, let's not go in circles anymore. Old Jean, I have a good treasure here, and I want to ask for your help. Although I have a wealth of knowledge, when it comes to treasure appreciation skills, I am definitely not as skilled as Chu Yi, who has a long history of learning. I look at myself like an ancient underwater artifact. The Jinya was flattering and speaking politely, while taking out an object wrapped in a golden cotton handkerchief from his sleeve and carefully lifting it on the table. Master Chu, please hold your hand. But in the center of the golden handkerchief lay a crescent pendant, made of bronze material, shining brightly. That's okay, the key is that the crescent moon itself is lush green. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary jade pendant, but upon closer inspection, one can feel a breathtaking charm, I dot catching. In an instant, Chu Chen was stunned. Touching it with your hand, an extreme coolness rushed down your fingertips. At the same time, a system prompt sounded in his mind. Ding. Detecting the host triggers the second treasure of the tomb complex. The Yellow River Water Dragon Ancestor Talisman, Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully activating the stolen scroll. The Thief Scroll is divided into the Tomb Vein Map Scroll, Artifact Map Scroll, and Mysterious Organism Collection Map Scroll. As long as you touch a treasure level antique item, you can light up the corresponding artifact scroll and trigger system rewards. If you successfully save the treasure, there will be an additional bonus increase. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the beginner gift pack. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a touch of gold talisman, a 16 character Yin Yang Feng Shui secret technique, Feng Shui scroll, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Dragon Hunting Secret Classic, and Kanye Yao Shu, in an instant, a massive wave of inheritance flooded down. Chapter 002 Storm Rises, Secret Treasure Water Dragon Ancestral Talisman You are listening at NovelFull.audio In an instant, Chu Chen's mind was filled with many secrets and knowledge about tomb raiding and dragon hunting. The vast amount of information even made his head feel a bit dizzy. 16 Character Feng Shui Chapter Chu Chen's eyes lit up and he sighed, amazing. He is still very clear about the legendary secret scriptures in the thief's door. Moreover, he himself is also a traveler. Not bad, he has been in this world for 18 years. The system has long been accompanying, but it is in a semi-activated state. The main function of the stolen scroll cannot be used, and it is in a gray and waiting to be bound state. The condition for complete activation is that he must personally touch the two core treasures of the tomb complex. 
The first treasure was entrusted by his chief father before his death at the age of five, allowing him to take good care of it. He also emphasized that one day in the future, an old friend would come to seek it, and he would be able to glimpse the mysteries of heaven and achieve great fortune. This treasure is a seal. It is also the core artifact of King Lu Shang's use of Yin soldiers to conquer various countries, the Ghost Seal. As a wanderer and tomb raider, he naturally understands the wonders of this thing, and at the same time, it also makes him realize that the appearance of the Ghost Seal may be related to the world of tomb raiding and the old friend who the cheap father confessed to came to pick him up gave him a lot of expectations, I don't know who he might be. He was very anxious as the activation task of the system was halfway completed. But he has not found the second treasure behind him for a long time. I have tried many methods and touched countless ancient artifacts from various sources, but none of them have been recognized by the system. Thirteen years have passed, and Chu Chen's activation task cannot be completed. But in this process, he also gained something. It should be noted that one of his ancestors in this lineage came from a Jinshu background and served as a supervisor in the Ming dynasty. He was ranked among the Lingtai Langs with five senses and was of the seventh rank. He was well versed in feng shui calculation, divination of celestial phenomena, and observing good and bad fortune. With the changing times, the Chu family declined, but they also had the ability to settle down and establish themselves. So, for a whole thirteen years, he spent his time studying the essentials of the Xianmen of the Sishianjian, passed down by his ancestors, and practiced all kinds of feng shui and folk magic. Otherwise, after my father leaves, he won't be able to hold on to this Aurora Pavilion stall and may end up being eaten out of his family. Many people in Pan's family know him. Under his management, the antique business of the stall may not be large, but he can always control it to just the right level of moderation. Especially his ability to discern treasures and palm objects with one hand is highly praised by insiders, earning him the nickname Golden Eye. Therefore, even the leader of the Outer Eight Elements who seeks to attract attention must sell him some thin noodles. To this day, I didn't expect the little brother De Jinya, who usually gives a few words of advice, to bring him such a surprise. Master Chu De Jinya waved his hand and asked, Did you lose focus? Are you sure this is an underwater artifact? Do I look at the group of people who seem to pour golden soup into a bucket of water? I can't say for sure. Originally, Daudus Ya tomb is a family, but the two types of tomb raids, water and land, are always different. Although they belong to the same profession, their methods are completely different. For example, Looking at the mountains through fog, I am not very clear about the importance of Lao Jin here. Chu Yi, your family is far away from learning. Have you seen what the origin of this is? Lao Jin, how did this thing come from? Chu Chen regained his senses and interrupted De Jinya's incessant chatter, asking. A friend inside asked me to collect treasures, so I'll leave it here for the time being. Speaking of which, De Jinya suddenly let out a cold breath and said, It's broken, my brain. I just remembered this thing now. I used to focus on looking at the treasure before. If it's Gu Bao, why don't you just leave it with me? Without waiting for Chu Chen to inquire, De Jinya recounted the whole matter to him like pouring beans out of a bamboo tube. After listening, Chu Chen frowned and asked, So, you so dot called Taoist friend, you don't know your true face either. Do you dare to palm your hand at someone like this? Are you not afraid of getting into trouble? You're right, this thing is indeed used by underwater tomb raiders to retrieve treasures, and it's also the secret treasure ancestor talisman used by them in their underwater golden soup, flipping, which can ensure the safety of underwater flipping and has the divine ability to seek and avoid ghosts and gods. Look at the green boundary line at the bottom of this ancestral symbol. This route winds and meanders from west to east, like a map line of the Yellow River with a trend of high in the west and low in the east. What? De Jinya picked up the ancestral talisman and looked down carefully. In an instant, he took a deep breath, but he didn't spit out the word clearly. The secret treasure of water mandrills. 
Three surnames of water mandrills. The Yellow River Ding family, the Yangtze River Jiang family, and the Lansang River Yi family, these ancestral talismans are the lifeblood. Why did the Ding family's ancestral talisman treasure appear in the Pan family's home? How could this be lost outside? The thing is genuine. Chu Chen spoke calmly and said, So, there is only one possibility. If something happens to the Ding family on the Yellow River, otherwise the secret treasure cannot flow out, let alone reach your hands and eyes. This. The genius face suddenly turned pale. He was so anxious that he was at a loss and said with a worried expression, Master Chu, I caused trouble and even implicated you. This. I'm really sorry. Shui Shizu Fu. What should I do? De Jinya was worried and paced back and forth in the hall, saying, Master Chu, I'll tell you later that old Jin's talent is shallow and cannot be appraised. Speaking of the rest, he couldn't even go to the circle himself. After all, once you look at it, people will think there is a risk of leakage. Obviously, the fact that De Jinya came to the Aurora Pavilion cannot be concealed. At this moment, Chu Chen also fell silent for a moment. Since this water mandrel secret treasure has appeared, it won't be a simple matter. Don't worry. Chu Chen gave a plan and said, Lao Jin, hurry to the inner gate of Pan Jiayuan and find the big shots of the North and South factions inside. Since the controversy has arisen and we are both being targeted, it is not a secret to directly stir up the water and let the water willow secret treasure ancestral talisman appear in the Pan family garden. After finishing the task, come back to my place. Okay. This move is amazing. As the words fell, the Jinya stormed out of the stall, carrying a secret treasure. At this moment, Chu Chen finally immersed his mind into the system. If I remember correctly, he touched the water willow ancestral talisman and met the reward conditions of the system. The system gift package just now should not be counted. Immediately, Chu Chen opened the system panel. The first thing to appear independently in front of us is the divine artifact scroll in the system tomb scroll, Ding. You have come into contact with the Yellow River Vein ancestral talisman of the water mandrel. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Water Buddha sitting skill of the six arts of the water mandrel, which allows for free breathing underwater. It has been issued. Chapter 003 Ingestion and Archive, Amazing Creation You are listening at Novel Full Audio. With a tremor all over his body, Chu Chen felt that there was something extra between his swollen chest, mysterious and unpredictable, and his whole body relaxed a lot. Is this the most difficult underwater breathing skill to learn among the six skills of water mandrels? Chu Chen's eyes were slightly bright, with a hint of surprise flashing in them. As long as you go into the water, it's like adding wings to a tiger. DDD, please find the Yellow River Water Willow Ancestor Talisman as soon as possible, archive the corresponding artifact scroll, complete the six arts of Water Willow, and reward the system with a lottery once. Upon hearing these words, Chu Chen's mind moved. The Yellow River Ancestor Talisman of the Underwater Tomb Raiding Faction has appeared. He was also involved in this inexplicable treasure appraisal dispute, and it cannot be said that there was an opportunity to operate in it. Moreover, this lottery system is extraordinary at first glance. On the first page of the scroll, initially it was a hazy gray and indistinct trace. Now, a figure similar to the water dragon ancestral talisman has faintly appeared. There is a row of seal script notes below. Secret treasure of underwater tomb robbers, unfiled and illuminated, on top of the ancestral symbol, there is a square seal image, which is also an unfilled and illuminated annotation. Yes. The first time I came into contact with the ghost seal, it only prompted the activation task of the system. Is activating a task a reward for touching a treasure? Can't we? Leaving aside this for now, I haven't tried to light up the artifact yet. I'll archive it in the artifact map when the time comes. There must be a surprise. With a thought in his heart, Chu Chen shouted loudly, Old Zhu, come out and see the shop. 
After speaking, a skinny guy quickly came out. The guy took off his apron and said, Master Chu, today is lotus root bone soup. You go rest first, and I'll call you when it's ready. This guy's name is Zhu Shan, but his name is Dai Shan and he looks as skinny as a stick. He was picked up by Chu Chen in the winter, and he is loyal. Soon, Chu Chen entered the inner room. He strode to the study and moved the innermost bookshelf. With a light click, he opened the cabinet door and pushed the wooden boards inside open. A secret staircase appeared in front of him and he walked straight down. This underground space was built by his great-grandfather to avoid the chaotic struggles of the late Qin dynasty. Later, it was transformed into a training base for the Chu family's children. Chu Chen first arrived at an oval-shaped space, with a large pearl lying in the center of the dome on his head, illuminating the secret room like daylight. There are eight passages around, and Chu Chen chose the one on the far right and walked in. After entering the corridor, there is a square stone chamber with seven or eight stone coffins arranged horizontally inside. Dad, Grandpa, Grandfather, all ancestors, young man Chu Chen is bothering me. Bowing and bowing, Chu Chen walked in. Immediately, Chu Chen passed through square spaces with sharp blades and sharp edges in the passage. He skillfully moved and jumped, stepping on strange and eerie steps, and narrowly crossed the blade. If there were outsiders here, they would surely be stunned. Quickly, he arrived at the innermost stone house. There was only an ancient yellow pear wood bed placed inside the stone house. He took out a wooden box from under the bed and a purple gold box. After opening it, a small seal emitting a faint green light caught the eye. The carving on the seal is intricate, with four evil ghost sculptures on all four sides, prominent sun carvings, and other parts covered with fish and dragon scales. At the moment of holding it, the system heard a sound. Ding! Detected the secret treasure ghost button dragon fish jade seal. Have you taken it? Ingestion. As the words fell, the ghost seal in my hand disappeared immediately. Instead, on the first page of the divine artifact scroll, the unique figure of the ghost seal shines brightly, dazzling and dazzling. DDD. The archiving of the secret treasure ghost seal has been completed. Trigger the first archiving benefit, successfully activate the S.Level amplification mechanism, and reward extraction is underway. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining blood vessel completion once. Ding. Supplement the reward for touching the ghost seal for the first time. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a tribute point 5, which has been distributed. After testing, it was found that there is one thousandth of the ancestral dragon blood remaining in the host's body, which can be activated for supplementation. Note. During the process of blood vessel supplementation, preliminary blood exchange will be carried out, which will secrete a large amount of dirt, wash semen and cut marrow. Please prepare a large amount of nutrients in advance to supplement the needs, while regulating the body, mind, and finding a safe and safe place for supplementation. What is the growth mechanism at the S. level? Ancestral Dragon Bloodline Blood exchange wash the tendons and cut the marrow. Is this the benefit of first dot time archiving? Is the theft scroll function of the activated system main body too awesome? Chu Chen saw the information content on the panel and did not immediately start completing it. Instead, he suppressed his excitement and began to carefully review the information in the system notes. Reward for touching the ghost seal for the first time Sure enough, the initial touch activation task cannot be considered a reward. Ding! Personal Properties Panel Open, Host Chu Chen Age 18 Gender Male Identity Pan Jiayuan Aurora Pavilion Boss, Ming Dynasty City in Jianimai, Miscellaneous, Blood Vessels. None, can be completed, Weapon. None regular skills. City in Jian Xian Men Yao Yao, Normal, Jian Bao, Normal, Knife, Gun, Stick, Hundred Arts, Beginner, Folding Special Skills. 16 Character In Yang Feng Shui Secret Technique. 
Feng Shui Scroll, Water Mantra Six Arts. Water Buddha Sitting, Dragon Hunting Secret Scripture, Kanyu Yao Shu, Physical Strength. 8 Power. 8 Speed. 9 Note 1. The body is like a treasure trove, and the maximum speed limit for ordinary human strength without opening the secret is 20. Note 2. The special method opens the human body's secrets, and the three dot dimensional attribute values cannot be generalized. Note 3. Skills can be upgraded and require targeted items or rewards. Seeing this, Chu Chen took a deep breath. I thought I was really amazing, but I just started. So, what kind of human body secret can be opened and the three dot dimensional attribute quality can be directly changed? Does the meaning of being incomprehensible mean there is no upper limit? Chu Chen thinks it's impossible. The door to the new world opened, and he swallowed his saliva, his eyes filled with envy. Immediately, he shifted his attention to the bloodline column. Chapter 004 Complete Bloodline, A Corner Veil of Heaven and Earth You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. According to the notes on the panel, completing blood vessels poses a great danger. The current small stone house is his resting place after practicing and studying, with complete facilities and a large amount of food stored inside. And the underground space where he is located is also an internal training base built by the ancestors of the Chu family. Although his population has withered to this point, safety is definitely not a problem. After some preparation, Chu Chen filled the surroundings with dried meat and drinking water, and eagerly began to complete it. Boom! In an instant, Chu Chen's brain suddenly twitched. My heart began to beat violently, my whole body was scorching and hot, and soy like sweat rolled down my pores, then rose up and released white mist, dong dong dong. The heart beats like thunder, becoming more and more intense each time. At this moment, Chu Chen felt as if his chest and abdomen were about to be torn apart. Suddenly, a powerful force emanated from his four limbs, and he suddenly pulled off his shirt in a scorching heat. However, the protrusions and indentations in the chest cavity were extremely obvious, and the skin was red all over. Sweat beads suddenly changed to crimson in a short period of time, emerging one after another. Not long after, my whole body was bleeding. Is this a blood transfusion? Chu Chen felt his body becoming increasingly weak and his consciousness becoming increasingly blurred. He's cursing at his mother, isn't he really going to stream himself to death? His abdominal cavity was empty, and hunger struck. He grabbed the food next to him and wolfed it down. Regardless of blood contamination, if there was a cow standing in front of him at this moment, he felt like he could eat it alive. Eating tons of drinking water while eating. This process lasts for a long time. The food is all empty. It was also at this moment that his heart jumped again, yes, it was bouncing, with a feeling of wanting to jump out of his skin and flesh. Dong dong dong. The drums are beating loudly. Like thunder and war drums, swift and loud. The chest feels itchy, as if blood is flowing back all over the body. Not long after, a black trace line first sprouted from the skin at the heart, and in the blink of an eye, the dark black lines swept across the entire body black ink embellishments, brushstrokes are vivid, and the form is emerging. Quickly, a dragon head extended from the chest to the right shoulder blade, and the dragon's body and claws spread throughout the back and ribs. All the blood stains caused by blood exchange and infiltration will automatically scab and fall off, creating new ones. Chu Chen lowered his head to look at each other, his eyes as if struck by lightning, with a feeling of seeing the true dragon god, lifelike and full of charm and aura. The scorching crimson skin, combined with the black ink pattern color, is full of power. Quickly, the essence and spirit of this group converged, revealing a ferocious dark dragon tattoo, which was clearly a picture of an ancestral dragon over the shoulder. It said that the tattooed dragon is just shoulder length, but my destiny may have changed now, my goodness. Chu Chen murmured in a low voice, and under his scanning, his body had lost a circle of weight, but at the same time, 
it had also become much more robust. The muscular lines of his body were graceful, and the contours of his abdominal muscles were like knives and axes. With a slight clench of his fist, Chu Chen immediately felt the amazing explosive power contained within his body. Touch with your hands, as hard as a rock. Quickly, the scorching heat of the body dissipated, and along with the tattoo of the ancestral dragon over the shoulder, it all converged and disappeared into obscurity. With a thought, a tattoo will appear. The dark dragon's body has a ferocious and heavy texture, giving it a sense of divine power and grandeur. Ding! Blood completion has been completed. In the first stage, the power of blood has the ability to comprehensively increase physical strength, dispel evil zombies, and ward off poisonous insects, snakes, and ants. At this point, he opens the personal properties panel again. Physical strength. 18 strength. 18 speed. 19 remaining disposable points. 5 Seeing the values on the panel, Chu Chen's heart trembled. Good guy. An opportunity to complete blood vessels, surprisingly, all three dot-dimensional attribute values were increased by 10 points. Previously, the information in the system notes described that the upper limit for humans who have not opened human treasures is 20, so he can be considered to have reached the target in one step. There are five more points. Just as he was pondering over adding more points, the sound of the system rang out again. Ding! With a blood purity of 5%, obtain the Dragon Blood Dominance Body Technique. Dot. Note. This body dominance technique originated from the refining chapter of the Ancestral Dragon Longevity Classic. As the purity of the blood vessels increases, there will be corresponding rewards. In an instant, a powerful force and information washed in. Chu Chen, who was sitting in place, fell into an ethereal state. For a moment. Chu Chen regained his senses and, after integrating the dragon blood body technique, he finally figured out a corner of the world of this tomb complex. Originally, the tomb raiding dimension world underwent changes, fusion, and reorganization, resulting in a great transformation of heaven and earth. In the process of fusion, the heaven and earth suddenly generate spiritual energy tides, which breed mysterious elemental energy in this area. The elemental energy of heaven and earth is scattered, attaching to all things and nurturing all spirits. Since the great changes in the world of the tomb, the tide of spiritual energy has begun, and there is innate attachment of elemental energy in the human body. The amount of retained elemental energy determines the length of lifespan. The dissipation of Yuan Qi is a continuous and irreversible process, during which human blood and gas will decrease year by year, and the body will mercilessly age under the erosion of time, leading to exhaustion and death. In the face of this situation, in ancient times, there were also capable giants who went against the sky. Through generations of efforts, they eventually discovered the existence of Yuan Qi, which evolved into a level where Yuan Qi could be eaten and practiced. But corresponding methods of eating qi are required. And the law is not transmitted lightly, which leads to the severity of the fault. To this day, many teachings have been lost in the long river of history. In this world, there are ancient martial arts families and mysterious forces, and there is also a small group of people who possess mysterious inheritance and practice the method of Yuan Qi, which is extremely supernatural. And, Dragon Blood King Body Technique is actually a relatively comprehensive cultivation method. The Dharma is divided into two parts. The first part discusses practicing skin, flesh, muscles, and bones, while the second part discusses cultivating, storing, and practicing qi. Overall, it's about practicing muscles, bones, and skin externally, and practicing a breath of qi internally. Both external and internal exercises can be conducted simultaneously. And external training is divided into four levels. Skin, flesh, muscles, and bones. Chu Chen stood up in front of the full body mirror, the candle flickering, and he found that his skin had turned even yellow, with deep eyes. At the same time, silver lines appeared on the surface of the skin, interwoven like a mesh. This. 
Yellow skin with silver stripes, is this the first level of skin hidden in the human body directly formed? Chapter 005 Promotion Route, Unexpected Visitors You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chu Chen murmured, with his right hand caressing the silver veins on his left arm. It felt like he was touching rough stones, and the friction was extremely strong. The body no longer has the feeling of hunger and weakness, but is replaced by a vigorous vitality and a comfortable mind and body. At the same time, he felt a thin, hair-like airflow growing inside his body. This is not internal energy, it's qi, it's also yuan qi. Is it so magical? Chu Chen sighed and his expression shook. Is it possible to have yuan qi directly by exchanging firearms and cannons? The external training of the first part of Dragon Blood King body technique emphasizes one skin, two flesh, three tendons, and four bones. The symbol of the initial formation of the skin is the birth of a texture, generally speaking, a blood-colored texture. The current silver pattern belongs to the symbol of a small success in grinding leather. When you reach the golden skin and silver lines, that is the ultimate achievement of the first level, and you are expected to break through to the meat level at any time. Mopi Pass is a natural process and a natural barrier to unlock the treasures of the human body. At first glance, it may seem unrelated to Yuan Qi, but if one can cultivate Qi in the body and use Qi to grind the skin, it is the right path and will grow faster. And Qi is free from heaven and earth, and to capture it, one needs the method of eating Qi, and even more so, the method of induction. The Dragon Blood Overlord body technique solved Chu Chen's problem. Soon, the patterns were hidden within the skin. Chu Chen clenched his fist slightly, although there was no outward manifestation of the silver wire criss-cross pull, he felt that there was endless strength. Practice Qi. His mind trembled slightly, and he couldn't feel the energy wandering between heaven and earth. As annotated in the Dragon Blood Overlord body technique, with the ebb of the spiritual tide after the great changes in heaven and earth, a long time has passed and it has directly transformed into the era of the end of the Dharma. At present, it is the eternal silence of Yuan Qi in the dark night. Ordinary people have no way to feel the existence of Qi, and those martial artists who open the treasure of the human body can only indirectly sense the cultivation of Yuan Qi. The so dot called indirect refers to using secret treasures to cultivate. The difficulty of preserving Yuan Qi refers to people, and there are considerable Yuan Qi attached and stored in those antique secret treasures and artifacts. Therefore, the appearance of each secret treasure will show various extraordinary qualities. Ordinary people sell money to make a fortune, while professionals use it to refine energy and cultivate longevity. In the preface of Ba Ti Shu, it is also noted that Yuan Qi will become more refined over time, so the older the treasure object, the more precious it is. Not only that, but those rare and long-lived exotic beasts can also cultivate energy. Of course, those mysterious creatures that can absorb elemental energy are rare and rare, and are difficult for those who are not lucky enough to see. Anyway, this gave Chu Chen a brand new and clear idea for improvement. The power of blood vessels can grind the skin and forge the flesh, but after breaking through the two levels of skin and flesh in the human body, practicing tendons and forging bones must rely on Yuan Qi to break through the levels, otherwise, the assistance of large herbs will also be difficult to succeed. So, absorbing and practicing Qi is a necessary path to take. Thinking of this, Chu Chen's mind shook violently. Good guy. The main body activated by the system is the tomb scroll. Isn't the three-part scroll exactly the same? Tomb vein map scroll, artifact map scroll, mysterious creature containment map scroll this is a closed loop. Find the treasure of the underworld, collect antique treasures, refine energy while also lighting up the scroll, and then receive system rewards, which is refreshing. The tomb vein map scroll is even more powerful, providing direction in direction. With the map, there is no shortage of elemental energy and rewards. If you reach those mysterious and unpredictable places, you may naturally encounter mysterious creatures. 
So, a complete closed dot loop path for improvement has been formed here. Currently, the Yellow River Ancestral Talisman is a rare treasure. It's okay if I don't know, now that I have Dragon Blood King body art, I have to give it a try no matter what. Yuan Chi Method There's a panel again. Perhaps it is not impossible to achieve immortality. I don't know to what extent my physical condition is now. Immediately, Chu Chen opened the panel. Physical Strength 22 Strength 22 Speed 21 Disposable Attribute Points 5 Note Yuan Qi cannot be digitized. Chu Chen understood clearly that Yuan Qi is very mysterious and cannot be digitized. The first level of human treasure, with a small success in skin grinding, has added a total of 10 points. The three dot dimensional attribute values have all changed, surpassing the average person's limit of 20. Physical strength and strength increased by 4 points respectively, while speed only increased by 2 points. Chu Chen raised his eyebrows and immediately felt relieved. The first level of skin grinding was normal, with a focus. Even if it's just a small achievement, it's impossible to add 30 points at once like completing blood vessels, which would be a bit abnormal. The speed is a bit behind. Chu Chen murmured, without much thought, directly adding all attribute points to speed. After all, this attribute is closely related to life preservation and must maintain an absolute advantage. The speed has reached 26. He felt even more agile. Arriving at the training ground of his own base, he crossed the fortress of swords, guns, and mechanisms, it was simply not an easy task. I don't know how many elemental qi are attached to this ghost seal. Thinking of this, Chu Chen flipped his right hand and the ghost seal appeared out of thin air in his hand. Just as I was about to practice, the bells inside the room collided and kept ringing incessantly. There is something going on outside, and Zhu Shan has brought the message down. Put away the ghost seal, and Chu Chen went straight out of the underground base. Zhu Shan Ho stood outside and immediately spoke up when he saw someone come out, shopkeeper, two foreigners have come to the store, and they have called to see you. I understand. Chu Chen raised his eyebrows, wondering if it was the guy who caused trouble earlier. This perseverance to find faults. He shook his head, didn't think much, changed into a new outfit, and walked briskly to the inner hall of the stall. Looking up, I saw two foreigners on the reception chair. A tall and slightly overweight middle dot aged foreigner with small braids, and another young man with golden curly hair holding a suitcase. It's different from what he thought, not the foreigner who caused trouble in the previous stall. Before Chu Chen could speak, the middle dot aged whip foreigner stood up and said, Hello. Boss Chu, it's nice to see you. Do you know me? Pan Jiayuan Treasure Appreciation Master Chu Chen, a descendant of the Sidian supervisor, is well dot known among people in the antique industry. So, sir, are you looking for me for anything? Hello, Boss Chu. My Chinese name is Yang Xianwei, and this is my assistant Hua Te. I'm here to ask for your help with the palm of my hand. As he spoke, he took off his backpack, but before he could retrieve the contents, Chu Chen across from him furrowed his eyes fiercely. However, there was a delicate colorful flower pin pinned to the strap of this backpack. This is not the point, the key is the English engraved on the pin. Chu Chen instinctively blurted out, surely. P.S. Four flowers, four monthly tickets, for all free data support. Chapter 006 Snow Pear Yang's name, the eye of fire breaks human resources. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Upon hearing these words, Yang Xianwei, who was holding something, paused and looked at Chu Chen in surprise. Seeing the other person looking at his shoulder strap, he suddenly understood and explained with a smile, Shirley is my daughter's name, and this brooch was given to me by my wife Casey. As he spoke, he took off the safety pin and pinned it to his chest, saying, I almost forgot to put it on when I took it off earlier. Boss Chu has such meticulous observation skills. 
The safety pin given by my lover is engraved with my daughter's name, it's really great. Chu Chen nodded and sighed, don't wear a brooch. It feels like you're taking your family on the road. Any difficulties or obstacles are not a problem. Ha ha ha. Hearing this, Yang Xianwei laughed and gave a thumbs up. Boss Chu is young and handsome, and he speaks well. Yes, with a pin, I feel that Kathy and Little Snow Pear are around. This is the last gift my wife gave me. Sorry. It's okay. Yang Xianwei waved his hand and said, Actually, this matter today is also related to my wife. I came to see you to ask for your help in looking at something. As he spoke, he carefully opened the cotton cloth and silk. At this moment, Chu Chen's thoughts were completely absent from the silk-wrapped things in front of him. His mind rippled and he was shocked. The name of Snow Pear Yang appeared unexpectedly. At present, this man also claimed to be Snow Pear Yang's father Yang Xianwei. Is he the foreigner archaeologist who blew the lantern on the universe world? As a tomb raider, Chu Chen fell into a distant memory. He compared the current timeline with the characters one by one. The more I ponder, the more I discover similarities in horror. At present, it happened to be 1981. In this year, General Yang's father led a team to explore the Jingjue ancient city for the sake of his wife and daughter, but as a result, Rubozi never returned. Then, General Yang arrived at the Dragon Kingdom. Snow Pear Yang's original intention is to find her father. Is this the father of Snow Pear Yang? But why did he say his wife died? Has Snow Pear Yang's mother died at this time? Chu Chen is somewhat uncertain. In his memory, the plot was not mentioned either. He was unsure, so he didn't ask too much out loud. Yang Xianwei saw that the other party was not looking at the object, but was staring at him in confusion. He said, Boss Chu, is there anything on my face? No. Chu Chen shook his head and immediately set his gaze on the object in the center of the silk. This is a jade pendant with a good color. I'm just a bit distracted by staring at this jade piece. Chu Chen casually explained, carefully picked up the jade pendant, and carefully rotated to examine it. There is no response from the system. There is no attachment of Yuan Qi. Obviously, this is not a secret treasure. I guess so, it would be strange if every object is a good treasure. After watching for a while, Chu Chen nodded and then shook his head again, saying, Good jade, what a pity. What does it mean? Boss Chu, since it's a good jade pendant, why is it a pity? Is it still a fake? No, it's genuine. Chu Chen shook his head and gave the answer directly, this jade pendant is warm and delicate, with saturated colors. Conservatively, it should be an object from the late Qin dynasty and well-maintained. However, strangely, the material and the engraved pattern on the jade pendant do not match. After speaking, he pointed to the pattern on the jade pendant and said, Mr. Yang, please take a look at the engraved pattern on it. This is the Hu people's banquet music pattern from the ancient western regions. More accurately, it should be a female immortal palace music picture. On the right side is the commonly used bead pattern on ancient western regions jade. And the prevalence of these two patterns should have been before the 5th century AD. Before the 5th century AD, there were jade objects made of this material. Chu Chen shook his head and continued, if we were to speculate based solely on the texture characteristics, it should be around 1500 to 2000 years ago. However, this jade pendant still maintains this color, and even if people raise jade, they wouldn't have developed such a good quality. Obviously, if the jade piece were from the ancient western regions period, this year and color would definitely not match. The color and material of the jade pendant are from the late Qin dynasty, and the texture is unique to the ancient western regions. 80% of the jade pendant is a replica of the late Qin dynasty. Hmm. Yang Xianwei frowned and said in confusion, what Boss Chu means is that the materials used in the jade pendant are real, but the texture characteristics of the imitation are from the ancient western regions, 
and the materials of the year do not match. Is it a replica of the year? But shouldn't it be common for jade carvings to use mature texture features from ancient times? Does this alone determine it to be counterfeit? Chu Qin did not answer, but glanced at Yang Xianwei and said, It is possible to inherit the ancient legal jade, and it is indeed impossible to determine whether it is a replica of the late Ming dynasty based solely on its texture. However, this writing is very unusual and should only be from the Naya River basin in the ancient western regions. So, I conclude that this is a replica of the ancient western region's jade piece from the late Ming dynasty. It is genuine and a good jade pendant, but not genuine. After listening to these words, Yang Xianwei fell silent. His eyebrows twisted into knots, and he gently rubbed the jade pendant without saying a word. For a moment. He let out a long sigh and said, Boss Chu is really impressive. He truly deserves to be the legacy of the Sidian supervisor. At a glance, you can see the mystery behind it. To be honest, I am also an archaeologist. Before coming here, I consulted several scholars and they all proved that this is a replica, but I think the evidence is not sufficient. I still hold a glimmer of hope, what if it's true? Upon hearing these words, Chu Chen's heart moved and he asked directly, does this jade pendant have any special significance for Mr. Yang? Seeing the other party continue to remain silent, he directly applied strong medicine and asked, Mr. Yang, are you investigating the exquisite ancient country? Hmm. Upon hearing these words, Yang Xianwei suddenly looked up and was surprised, how do you know? Guess. Chu Chen smiled and said, is the text on this jade pendant ghost cave writing? The ghost cave script of the ghost cave clan, and the ancient and unparalleled country of the ghost cave clan has once again been short. lived in history, so Mr. Yang is not investigating the exquisite ancient country, but what is he investigating? And Mr. Yang's expectation for me to come and see him is nothing more than that this thing has important significance, it is a key key. Because human life is at stake, are you here to prove it? Actually, I'm here to seek psychological comfort, right? You. Yang Xianwei was shocked, his lips trembling, and his heart stirred up a huge wave. The ancient western region's jade pendant imitated in the late Ming dynasty. Genuine goods are not genuine. I saw ghost cave text at a glance. The investigation he conducted is of unparalleled antiquity. Furthermore, it can be inferred that this jade pendant is a crucial key to human life this level of mental clarity what an extraordinary person is he. Previously, the investigation information said that the other party's ancestors were the chief officer of the supervisor, but he still didn't believe it. When we meet now, our secrets are almost impossible to hide. How could the other party have such insightful skills in treasure appreciation if they had not obtained the true transmission of the Sishianjian lineage? Thinking of this, Yang Xianwei suddenly stood up and grabbed Chu Chen's hand, saying, Sir, since you can tell at a glance that it is a ghost cave text, then you must have knowledge of the ancient and exquisite country. Please give me some guidance. Mr. Chu, please point me a clear path. Please save my daughter's life, sir. Speaking, he bowed down without saying a word. Chapter 007 Stubbornness and no regret, hard to predict, seeking fresh. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chu Chen, with quick eyes and quick hands, supported Yang Xianwei and said, Mr. Yang, why is that so? If you have something to say, what do you mean by Minglu? What's wrong with your daughter Shirley? Why did she say she saved her life? Sir, I. At this moment, Yang Xuanwei's face was filled with shame and guilt, and he trembled in pain, saying, Boss Chu, I'm sorry. I just lied, to be honest, my wife hasn't passed away, but she's not far from heaven. She has been cursed by the ancient world, and now there are no ghosts or people. Life is better than death. At this point, he couldn't help himself, his eyes were red, and he calmed down a little and continued. Our daughter Snow Pear Young also inherited the curse. As a father, I will never allow such a thing to happen, 
so I want to find out and eradicate the curse, and use all means to save them. The Curse of Jingjue Kingdom Yes. Yang Xianwei nodded and responded with a serious tone, Mr. Yang, you could tell the authenticity of this jade pendant at a glance earlier, and you also know Ghost Cave Script. So you must have heard that Ghost Cave Script is a unique script of the Ghost Cave Clan, and it is exquisite in ancient times. No. Chu Chen interrupted, the Ghost Cave Script is not a unique script of the Ghost Cave Tribe. Before the Ghost Cave Tribe, there was a tribe called the Zagrama Tribe, and the people of this tribe also used Ghost Cave Script, but it was not named after Ghost Cave Script at that time. As far as I know, the Zagrama tribe was cursed by an evil god for unknown reasons. As they grew older, all members of this tribe's blood slowly turned into yellow cirrus fluid, and eventually turned into demons in hell around the age of forty, dying in extreme pain. Speaking of this, he paused slightly and asked sympathetically, So, Mr. Yang, shouldn't your wife and daughter be related to the Zagrama tribe? This. Upon hearing these words, Yang Xianwei was stunned. He looked at Chu Chen in disbelief and said, Mr. Chu, you are really quick-witted and have sharp eyes. Not bad, my wife Casey is a descendant of the Zagrama tribe. I deeply love Casey, and I knew it was the same situation back then, but I believe true love can overcome everything, and I am American, so that our descendants won't have any problems. But I didn't expect that I was wrong. Even though we were far away from each other, the crystal of our true love still inherited a curse. At the age of five, Xiao Shui Liang was cursed. A faint red glow appeared in the shoulder blades of his back. For this reason, I abandoned commercial archaeology and studied Eastern culture, hoping to find a way to break their curse before it erupted. I couldn't find the location of Jingjue Ancient Kingdom, but I found the notes of the Zagrama people back then, which recorded the location of Xia Ancient City. According to records, if you enter the West Night Ancient City, you have a chance to find the Jingjue Ancient Kingdom. And this jade pendant is the key key I found. Legend has it that it is the key to opening the underground palace of Jingjue Kingdom. With it, I think I can find the key clue to breaking the curse. Perhaps it's not necessary to wear dust beads. Isn't there an ancient saying in the East that goes, to untie a bell, one must tie the bell? Perhaps, the source of this curse can be traced back to the ancient city, and a solution can be found. Okay. I understand. Chu Chen interrupted his statement again, so, do you think finding the ancient and exquisite country can lift the curse? Always give it a try, don't you? Didn't your family tell you about this curse? I've talked about it. My father in law is still the last leader of the mountain-moving Taoist. Yang Xuanwei's face showed a hint of grey defeat, but he immediately calmed down and said, although the Zagrama tribe has been searching for thousands of years without finding the dust pearl, perhaps they have gone in the wrong direction. It may not necessarily be a dust pearl, but this pearl may not exist. Is it a mistake for the Zagrama tribe to stay away from the source of the curse and preserve the ancient city? So, Mr. Yang, do you think the descendants of the Zagrama tribe have not considered this issue? This. Yang Xuanwei's tone paused for a moment, but he still looked up stubbornly and said, I don't know if the descendants of the Zagrama tribe have thought about it, but this may exist, right? Whenever possible, I want to give it a try. After speaking, he looked at Chu Chen with bright eyes and said, So, Mr. Chu, if you know any information about Jingjue country, please let me know and give me a clear path. After listening to these words, Chu Chen did not respond. He looked at the man across from him who was seeking medical attention for an urgent illness, with a mix of flavors. Do you have to go? Mmm. Yang Xianwei nodded. If I don't try, I may not have the courage to live after my wife Kathy leaves, let alone face my daughter Snow Pear Yang. After going, if you don't save your wife and daughter, you might have to explain where you are. The Zagrama tribe hasn't found it for thousands of years, and the exquisite ancient country is by no means a place to lift the curse. Mr. Chu, how can you be sure that Jingjue ancient kingdom is not the place to lift the curse? Have you ever been there? 
no. Then I want to give it a try. Yang Xuanwei's eyes were burning, and he said firmly, I enjoy taking risks. I would rather take risks for my wife and children, even if it's death. Chu Chen remained silent. The other party also remained silent. To be honest, Chu Chen can understand the other party's urgent and impatient mood, as well as the pain, but. This adventure is meaningless. Just adding sadness. But he had no way to persuade the man in front of him who was willing to risk his life for his wife and daughter. He couldn't say he knew where to go and said that if you went, you would just beat the dog with meat buns, right? And. The current world is a world of integrated dimensional tombs, with many things different. Chu Chen couldn't be certain that what he knew was definitely correct. Who can predict life and death? Dust droplets he actually knows the whereabouts. But the tomb of King Xian is much more dangerous than the tombs of that exquisite ancient country, and that kind of place is even less likely to be accessible to archaeologists who have become monks halfway through. Tell him Worm Valley, it's undoubtedly asking him to go and die. After a moment of contemplation, he shook his head and said, Mr. Yang, it's better to spend your short life with your family. That's the truth. However, if you insist on going, I can't stop you either. I can only reveal one message to you. Someone has seen the dust pearl with their own eyes, and it exists. What? Who? Chen Yulo. P.S. Seeking flowers and monthly tickets, seeking support. Chapter 008 Establishing a Good Fate The gear of fate starts to rotate. You are listening at novelfull.audio. After half a stick of incense, Yang Xianwei left with his assistant Walter to express his gratitude. Chu Chen sat in the chair, looking at the hurried backs of the two of them, his heart full of ups and downs. I didn't expect so many things to happen today. Snow Pear Yang's biological father unexpectedly asked here, and the other party was willing to go to the death to take a risk for his wife and daughter. This is really a dead end situation. Chu Chen could not advise an old father's desperate decision. But he also didn't want the man in front of him to just beat the dog like this, so he spoke up a bit. Meeting is fate, ignoring it is not his wish. This is the best way he can think of. Although the information of the Jingjue ancient city has inherent plot advantages, the fusion of the dimensions of the comprehensive tomb allows for many things to be generalized. After all, there is Yuan Qi cultivation in this world, and anything can happen. If the spoilers are wrong or there are mistakes, Snow Pear Yang's father's death is directly related to her. And he couldn't possibly say that there may be dust droplets in the tomb of the King Xian in this world. Otherwise, the other party will die faster. The news that Chen Yulo had seen the Chen Chen Zhu was actually a probe from Chu Chen. Explore whether the fate of characters in this world will change due to one's own words. At the same time, let Yang Xianwei look for Chen Yulo, which can also let Snow Pear Yang's father live longer. After all, Chen Yulo lost a pair of tricks in Worm Valley back then. He always felt disheartened and wandered around the world, and no one knew where Chen Yulo would be. It was definitely a long process for Snow Pear Yang's father to go to him and ask him for the information of Zikenzu. The other person can also live longer. It can also be considered a good fate. If Yang Xianwei really finds Chen Yulo, as promised earlier, the other party will send a letter to the stall to inform them of all the details. In this way, Chu Chen can understand the degree of plot changes in this tomb world at the minimum cost. Have the best of both worlds. Shopkeeper, the lotus root bone soup is ready. At this moment, Zhu Shan walked out with a small clay pot in his hand and said, Today's soup is delicious. I learned it from old Chen Ji's secret teacher, and I'm sure the shopkeeper will be lingering after eating it. So powerful. Chu Chen smiled. Previously, he had added a series of points and exchanged blood. Although his current energy and energy were full, his stomach was already empty. Smelling the fragrance, he immediately became greedy. Old Ju, 
sit down and eat together. No, shopkeeper, I'll take a look at the store. Take a look at the hammer. What customers in our store do you need? Before finishing speaking, a shout came from outside the door. Master Chu. Immediately, the Jinya ran in, sweating and panting from his forehead, saying, Master Chu. Whoa! Lao Jin, my legs are almost broken. What is the situation? Chu Chen asked without lifting his head while eating lotus root soup. I'm so thirsty. The Jinya took the cold and white pot poured from Zhu Shan, glanced at the clay pot on the table, and swallowed a mouthful of saliva, saying, Master Chu, you really enjoy it. It seems that you had anticipated it long ago and didn't worry at all about the impact of the ancestral talisman. You're really this. After gesturing with his thumb, the Jinya continued, that Yellow River ancestral talisman belongs to the Ding family of the Yellow River, and indeed, the Ding family had an accident. They drank golden soup and were intercepted, and then the ancestral talisman was stolen. Oh! The one who was taken away. Chu Chen raised his head in confusion and asked, Lao Jin, did you hear anyone who intercepted the beard? Did it happen to be done by the other two Shueishi families? Or could it be said that the Ding family of the Yellow River crossed the border by stealing treasures from their golden soup? No. The Jinya shook his head like a tambourine and said, There is no crossing of the line. In the golden soup below the Yellow River, the three tribes of water and mandarin stand on three legs, so they won't go to someone else's water area to steal water from the tomb and fight. They have been intercepted in the Yellow River Basin under their jurisdiction. I don't know who attacked and intercepted the beard. According to the master of the inner house, 78 out of 10 were done by two other families of water squirts. Otherwise, for such dangerous underwater work as pouring golden soup, who could have intercepted the tomb raiders on land? After all, in the Three Rivers Basin, who can compete with the members of the Shueishi family underwater? The Ding family still had an incident in their own watershed, isn't it who the other two families are? Speaking of which, the Jinya sat down and continued to look into the pot, saying, Master Chu, this season's lotus root soup is nourishing. Chu Chen glanced at him and couldn't help but say, Give Lao Jinxing a bowl. You're welcome. I'll do it myself. No, you can do it yourself. I'm afraid I can only eat lotus root, and I won't be able to catch any bones or meat. Old Zhu, give him a bowl, dot. Lao Jin, did the Yellow River Ding family water dragon ancestor's talisman be stolen, was it the lord of the inner house who told you? Mmm. The Jinya readily accepted and quickly dealt with the fragrant lotus root soup in the bowl. After taking a few big bites, he looked up and said, Master Chu, it's been a little while since the golden soup under the water was intercepted. Otherwise, the inner house prince wouldn't have known, but they really didn't know that the ancestral talisman of the Ding family had also been lost. So what? Has Grandpa Zufu received it? No. The Jinya shook his head and said, Grandpa is old. Although the family has a good influence, taking the ancestral talisman is not equivalent to causing trouble for oneself. On the other hand, the other party immediately concluded that it was Chu Yi who gave me the idea. Let Chu Yi take some time to have tea and play chess. In addition, the master also said, since we have waded into this muddy water, don't be afraid. As an imperial capital, we can't tolerate any reckless Shueishi families. Just do our own treasure appraisal and stall trading well. The other party must also know the preciousness of this object when using the Water Willow Ancestral Talisman for treasure appraisal, as it was meant to cause trouble. If the troublemaker doesn't pay attention, they won't be able to get things done. This is the imperial capital, unless the other party finds life too long. Oh! Chu Chen furrowed his brows and put down his bowls and chopsticks, saying, The master has no interest in this ancestral talisman. It seems so. How about the other gentlemen? They were all similar, but the two old guys from the North and South Tomb Robbers faction were very interested. 
but when they found out that I had given the prince a hand first, they became hesitant and didn't dare to take action easily. So. Chu Chen looked at De Jinya with a burning gaze and said, Old Jean, is this ancestral talisman still in your hands? P.S. Readers, grandfathers, and those who have flower tickets in their hands, hurry up and vote for the author Mushroom. Please support me. I have updated eight chapters in more than ten hours, but I can't bear it anymore. Let's go eat first. Chapter 009 Shuei Shizu Fu Incident Who Entered the Trading Market? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Yes. Speaking of which, the Jinya sighed and said, the three surnames of the Shuei Shi tomb raiding family in the Three Rivers Basin have been passed down for thousands of years. Although their strength has decreased significantly due to the wars between their families and countries, they still have a deep foundation. The Ding family in the Yellow River heard that they are very arrogant, and now that they have lost their ancestral talisman, they are afraid they will go crazy. If they find out that Lao Jin has dealt with me, they may come to find fault with me. They dare not vent their anger on the powerful ones like the Grand Master, but we are all alone, and if we find someone unreasonable, it will be troublesome. Master Chu, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, don't worry, if there's really trouble, I'll fight against Ajinya alone. No way. Chu Chen waved his hand and said, although the Water Dragon Ding family is powerful, even if it comes to land, it will still be difficult to adapt to the local conditions. Besides, things are not that bad yet. Don't scare yourself. The key issue now is the person who uses it for treasure appraisal. If he doesn't come back to retrieve the water willow ancestral talisman, that will be the most troublesome. Ah, this. The genius face changed and he immediately reflected, Master Chu, do you mean that this dog day intentionally gave me the water willow ancestor's talisman, which is causing trouble to the east? Not bad Chu Chen nodded and said, otherwise, I really can't understand this person's actions. Lao Jin, does the other person interact with you like someone in our industry? Wearing a mask, I can't see clearly, but someone who speaks and behaves should be an insider. Speaking of this, the Jinya looked angry and immediately said, Hey, this is really tofu residue stir-fried couple slices. I'm mesmerized, someone should have calculated it, but if that guy really doesn't come, then I'll just give him away. Leave it to me. Ah. The Jinya was taken aback and immediately shook his head, saying, Master Chu, don't joke with me. Here you are. What's the difference between that and me holding it in my hand? Others don't know, don't you, Lord Chu? Although I'm greedy for money, I value loyalty the most. I can't do anything that would fall for my family or cause injustice. I know, you listen to me finish first. Chu Chen nodded and said, Give it to me, I have my own way to make big things small. Didn't you say that the master in the inner room asked me to go drink tea and play chess? I think this is a good opportunity. You should know the value of the water willow ancestral talisman, right? Of course, I have heard some rumors about this water willow ancestral talisman, Lao Jin. It is said that this thing is incredibly supernatural. The ancestral talisman card contains a mysterious factor called water spirit, which can make people directly become water willows and allow them to breathe freely in the water. Top-level water willows even have the miraculous ability to heal wounds on their own. At this point, the genius words changed and he said, No, since they are so powerful, how can those old men from Pan Jiayuan resist being moved? This ancestral talisman is simply an underwater warrior manufacturing machine, isn't it? Using ancestral talismans to mass-produce underwater tomb raiders is like mass production of ordinary water chestnuts. Then the treasures under the Three Rivers River Basin are no longer owned by the three surnames families. Why don't they fight for such great benefits? And those who are fighting in the north and south are all a group of outlaws licking blood with their swords. Do they still care about this? Does it make sense? Lao Jin, you only know one or two of them, but you don't know the specifics. Chu Chen shook his head and took the words, explaining, 
the water willow ancestral talisman does have the ability to make ordinary people become water willows. This function is indeed incredible, but there are pros and cons to everything. Relying on the ancestral talisman to become a water willow will have a fatal weakness. As long as you come into contact with seafood, you will instantly become allergic, emit a corpse odor, and even die. Simply put, even if a sea clam touches it, it will instantly lose its combat power. But the three surnames of water squirrels in the Three Rivers Basin didn't just start their families with ancestral symbols. They have special bloodlines in their bodies, and their families occasionally give birth to those naturally born water squirrels. They don't have any allergies to seafood and are very powerful. So, the reason why those people are unwilling to take over the ancestral talisman is because even if the ancestral talisman produces a large number of water mandrels, the fatal weakness is so great that it cannot be achieved. On the contrary, it has also offended a huge underwater force. So many years have passed, who knows how many born mutants are there in the three surnames families. What? The Jinya took a cold breath and exclaimed in surprise, is there anything else like this? This is really a small knife piercing his buttocks. Open your eyes, can the bloodline of the three surnames still give birth to the born water man? Isn't that outrageous? This is just like the dawn in the South China Sea, no, even more powerful than the legendary dawn. It's like a guard-level character like the Water King. Speaking of this, the Jinya suddenly said, So, Master Chu, your method is actually to persuade the master in the inner room, or to ask him to help us plead for mercy. You don't have to worry about the specific method, anyway, I have my own way to send things out. Chu Chen shook his head and said, If the person who sent the appraisal comes back, just give it back to the other party as if I didn't say it. But if I guess correctly and the other party doesn't come back to you for it, then you give me the Yellow River Ancestral Talisman and I will dispose of it. Let's wait for now. All the forces in Pan Jiayuan are staring at you, there won't be anything wrong. Alright, thank you for your guidance, Master Chu. The Jinya admired and thanked the beautiful woman before saying goodbye and hurriedly left. At this moment, Zhu Shan, who had listened to everything, asked inexplicably, in charge, is that water monkey so powerful? I don't know, I'm just as curious as you are, and I haven't seen it either. It's all legends, but legends may not necessarily be fake. After speaking, he tapped his fingers on the table and closed his eyes to rest. Let the Jinya hand over the ancestral talisman to him, it's not that he is arrogant and fearless, nor is it that he is looking for the prince in the inner room. Will the half-buried old guy care about this? It's just Chu Chen's words. He really wants the water willow ancestral talisman. The secret treasure in the water. Got it, the six major skills of water bamboo are mastered. You can also light up the artifact scroll to receive rewards. At the same time, you can also use the Yuan Qi on the secret treasure to cultivate the dragon blood dominant body technique. Horses have no night grass and no fat, and people have no windfall or wealth. He is not without a way to break through the situation. If you have already entered the game, then make a big move. Otherwise, how can one quickly become stronger? By the way, Guishi. Immediately, Chu Chen shook his mind and was delayed by such a round trip. He almost forgot to check the Yuan Qi on the ghost seal. The secret treasure is in his hand, he hasn't tried borrowing anything to refine Qi yet. Lao Zhu, Come and see the store. Chapter 010 Ghost Seal and Yuan Qi Understanding the Way with Difficulty. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Aurora Pavilion. Underground Secret Room. Chu Chen did not immediately start practicing, but instead sat cross legged and carefully observed the carving patterns of evil spirits on the green seal. After about five or six breaths, he felt his eyes slightly sore, and his spirit was not as full as before, as if he was quite tired. Is it so difficult to imagine the first step of the secret treasure's charm? Do we have to activate our blood vessels? Chu Chen sighed and whispered, it seemed that he was not a person with a rebellious intelligence. 
he could not achieve the realm of quickly comprehending the essence of the secret treasure, let alone connecting the elemental energy factors on the treasure after realizing it. With a sudden thought, he directly communicated his bloodline power. The ancestral dragon blood vessels burst out from the heart, flowing throughout the body. In an instant, fatigue swept away, replaced by a rich essence and spirit. His eyes looked down again, and the green light of the ghost seal in front of him was no longer monotonous and desolate, but became warm. There are countless strange light particles floating and sinking in the center of the light, magnificent and dazzling. The outermost surface appears to have a hazy and dreamy aperture, allowing light particles to swim in a fixed area, but there are also very few light particles overflowing. Is a particle of light a elemental energy? Chu Chen was amazed and full of novelty. The ancestral dragon's bloodline was stimulated and blood flowed, causing various buffs and blessings to be applied to his entire body, and his realization was like having divine assistance. Quickly, he gathered his mind and activated the hair-like airflow in the meridians according to the flow of qi in Dragon Blood King Body Technique. After a week, he touched the ghost seal with both hands. The next second, the originally floating Yuan Qi suddenly began to move and rushed towards his hands. At this moment, Chu Chen guided the incoming light point Yuan Qi to move around the heavens. Quickly, the internal Qi nurtured by his blood and Qi intertwined with Yuan Qi, and he used Yuan Qi to refine it. The repeated mixing of Yuan Qi into the internal Qi, without distinguishing each other, is an extremely rough polishing. In a moment, the internal qi seemed to have transformed from a strand of hair into a small bundle, as thick as a grain of rice, due to the entanglement of the yuan qi. After strengthening qi, it's time to guide yuan qi to grind the skin. This is a complex and tedious process. At the same time, it is incredibly sour and refreshing. The muscles throughout the body are trembling regularly, and the skin is itchy, as if ants are biting and puncturing but in an instant, it is incredibly cool and comfortable. Soon, Chu Chen immersed himself. Perception of Yuan Qi, Introduction of Qi into the Body, Zhou Tianzhuang Qi, Yuan Qi Grinding the Skin. The four elements of forging are seamlessly integrated without any obstacles. And all of this is due to the effects of activating his ancestral dragon bloodline. Time slowly passes by when Chu Chen turned around, a thick layer of green and black dirt had already been discharged from the surface of his body, like washing essence and marrow. But he understood that this was the dirt produced by grinding the skin, and it was also a renewal of the old. After a wash, he stood in front of the mirror and was stunned with just one glance. Gold skin and silver stripes. But I saw that my skin had a faint golden luster, and my body was covered in fine silver lines, like a spider web, full of a gorgeous beauty. Did you successfully grind the skin in the first level? But soon, Chu Chen calmed down. The silver pattern is up to standard, but the gold skin has not been completed yet. This is just a touch of golden luster, even lighter than the ancient copper skin color, not enough to be complacent. According to the description in Dragon Blood Overlord Body Technique, when the skin is completely molted to a golden color and gold and silver radiance interweave, that is the perfect symbol of the human body's hidden skin. At that time, when a small knife cuts the skin, only faint white marks will appear, and it can easily break through the skin barrier and step into the second level of human treasure forging flesh barrier. Glancing at the Yuan Qi attached to the ghost seal on the table. It's already gone. At this moment, the ghost seal still shines with a faint green light. The charm is still there, but it lacks that mysterious feeling, which is difficult to describe in detail. Unfortunately. Chu Chen sighed, if there was still the same amount of elemental energy on the ghost seal, he felt that as long as he tried to extract energy again, his skin would completely turn golden. The first level of skin grinding can be directly completed. At the same time, this also made him even more determined to get the secret treasure, the Water Willow Ancestral Talisman. Even if he turns his left hand over his right hand, he still needs to first suck and practice the elemental energy of the secret treasure. If the Yuan Qi is sufficient, 
it can even directly enter the second hidden body of the human body. The Forged Meat Pass Since his bloodline awakened and he learned about a corner of this world of tombs, Chu Chen had an extremely strong sense of urgency. After all, the panel emphasizes that there is no upper limit to the number of human attributes hidden in the human body that can be unlocked through special methods. Who knows, how abnormal will the inheriting power of those mysterious qi refining techniques be? Not to mention the distant, but to mention the closer, at least now he doesn't have the abnormal scar self-healing ability of the natural water monkey. Although he has never seen a water dragon, if he can truly heal himself, then Chu Chen is still far behind. We must be prepared and armed in advance. Strength is the foundation of standing. With this in mind, he opened the personal properties panel physical strength. 22, plus 5, strength. 22, plus 5, speed. 26, plus 5, disposable attribute point. 0, blood exchange increased by 30 points, skin grinding skill increased by 10 points, and 1 Guishi secret treasure assisted cultivation increased by 15 points. Chu Chen clenched his fist and felt the increase in his body's strength. He nodded with satisfaction and said, this wave of qi refining is still good, and the speed has increased to 31. After examining, he went to the nearby Chu's base again and ran around. At this point, there was no mechanism, knife, or gun passage that could put pressure on him. Without Yuan Qi, Chu Chen did not relax his cultivation. Basically, when you're full and have nothing to do, you move your qi and blood to grind your skin, just like you're addicted to it. Time flies by rapidly blink, three days pass by. Three days of exercise and skin grinding did not show much increase. Light golden skin or light golden color. There is a slight increase, but it is almost imperceptible. There is no immediate effect like absorbing and practicing Yuan Qi. In this comparison, Chu Chen became increasingly eager to obtain the secret treasure to borrow materials for cultivation. During these three days, Pan's home remained calm and peaceful. There are no abnormalities. It seems that the Yellow River Dingjia River Zhuzhu Fu suddenly realized that Pan Jiayuan did not exist at all did the mysterious treasure appraiser take the water willow ancestral talisman back. Just when Chu Chen couldn't sit still. At nine o'clock that evening, De Jinya arrived at the stall and knocked on the door. Master Chu, it's me. Have you slept yet? P.S. Grandpa, have you slept yet? On the first day, we added ten chapters. Is it okay? We sincerely seek data for monthly tickets. Feel free to leave a message if you have any ideas. Good night.